I'm going to share some techniques on how you can stop or at least lessen being lazy. Here's an undeniable truth. Most of us can be lazy at least some of the time, right? But it's not a natural state and we shouldn't be lazy, especially if we want to become successful. Being lazy just means you want to put out as little effort as possible and who in their right mind will want to spend extra time or energy where it's not needed. Of course, being lazy is also problematic. Laziness prevents you from achieving what you need to achieve for yourself and for your family. Before I continue, I'd like to ask you a favor. If the information in this video is helpful or useful, please do give me a thumbs up and a like. It really helps my channel and the YouTube algorithm and subscribe and we'll let you know when we upload another video. Now, if you're feeling lazy and unmotivated, you're not going to take proactive action on achieving your goals and you may struggle in both your personal and your professional life. If you want to stop being lazy, it's going to take effort on your part using techniques to help you. But don't worry, once you start using a few of these techniques, you're going to find it much easier to sustain your momentum. I'm Chris Randolph, and you can find out more about me, my background, and my expertise by clicking this link over here. Let's start moving and doing things that we need to do with a pep in our step and snapping to a new tune. So we're going to touch on how to break the cycle of laziness, and I'm going to share what has worked for me and countless others. One, break your goals into chunks or milestones. Don't lower your goals. That doesn't help. We need to keep our goals high and massive, and that will stretch us. Feeling accomplished is a tremendous motivator, and setting mini goals and completing them means you're accomplishing something, and when you feel good about that, that positive energy will continue onto your next endeavor, even if it's something you don't feel like doing. Quick wins produce massive momentum for behavioral change. Two, instill discipline in yourself. Set a schedule and follow it. Anyone can do anything well for a short amount of time. Using this to our advantage, schedule your activities in short focus bursts of activities. Three, realize that perfection is the enemy of productivity and success. We often try to get things perfect and we need to move away from this and focus on completion then edit, adjust, or modify after that. The key is mastery and not perfection. Four, reward yourself. Most of us find ourselves much more motivated when there's a reward at the end of a daunting journey. The next time you find yourself feeling lazy or unmotivated in the face of a tough task, plan to give yourself a reward. For example, you can treat yourself to a snack, splurge on a new product, or just take an extended break. Five, get an accountability partner. It's way easier to be motivated when you have someone by your side. Not only will they help you tackle the project directly, but they'll also be a source of positive energy and possibly some inspirational words. Six, change your physiology. Our body affects our mind and that's where laziness starts, in the mind. I'd like you to try this. When you begin to feel lazy, sit up straight, stomach in, chest out, and take several deep breaths. Think of your favorite superhero and you're gonna feel the difference. Seven, erase the word should. Whenever you say should, I really should make more calls or I should have started working on the report you've already lost. Stop saying the word should and stop shooting all over yourself. Eight, try to automate it and delegate as much as you can. Automation will save a lot of time and effort in your day. Think of the ways that you can do this. For example, instead of sending multiple individual emails for follow-up, use a newsletter service to constantly keep in touch with your prospects. And there are many things that you can do in automation. And if you have a support team, use them to help you in your tasks. Number nine, exercise. Exercise is the simplest way to overcome laziness. A lot of the time we feel lazy because completing a task becomes too difficult. When exercising, you don't have to figure anything out. You just have to make that one big decision to literally start moving your body. Do any of these nine things and you should lessen the laziness factor. Watch the other videos on my channel to get even more sales tips designed to help you increase your skills, increase your closing ratio, 
get more deals and enjoy success. If the information in this video is helpful or useful to you, please do give me a thumbs up and a like, and it really helps my channel and the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe and we'll let you know when we upload another video. Thank you and I'll connect with you soon.